we have to start bending this emission growth curve as a matter of urgency and we have to get rid of uh, coal, oil and natural gas and we have to stop the deforestation, especially in Amazonian region and Central African region. And that's something that conservatives should support because if you believe in a market-based economy, then there's really no good argument for why we're continuing to subsidize the fossil fuel industry. I get mad at people who say we shouldn't get mad. We should be mad. We should be really angry at the people who have knowingly put us in this position. People who are knowingly hurting other people and making a profit doing so. It's almost like we've given them a pass. So they do have the freedom to dump carbon pollution in the atmosphere, and they've had that freedom for a long time. That central problem that these polluters are dumping carbon pollution in the atmosphere and leaving us with the damages is something that we still haven't quite got our heads around. We really do need a new social contract. Yes, private sector and business will play a huge role in solving this problem, but business as usual cannot deliver the kinds of responses that we need. And so my message to you is really think about it. Think about the ways in which you, your organization, is involved in maintaining the status quo and what it would really take to change that so that we can actually solve this problem. The point I would like to emphasize is that we're not asking for a change overnight. We've been asking for this for 30 years. So we have essentially stalled, we have dithered, we have delayed for 30 years. But now the time has come to really address the issue. We have all the building blocks in order to be able to do it. We just simply haven't put them together to construct that better world yet. We need to decide today. There's still hope if we are determined.